Ursa does not like playing against Darkseer. I, that no. is not a good lane matchup at all. So I'm a little bit worried for LGD for that and reason. PA now Last for PA. DC. Very nice. So is this... Support PA. Position actually. 4 PA? Yeah. You need an offlaner that puts a lot of pressure. And let's imagine for a moment that this top lane with the Ursa... I actually think LFY should probably do this, maybe. Is that they should just leave the Ursa one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think Rubik is contributing that much to Ursa's success in the lane anymore. Ursa's doing a good job, actually. He's up to 29 CS. He has his Morbid Mask. He's good to go. Like, he can play the lane alone now. So I would like DDC to start moving oh. uh, away oh, from oh. here. Oh, yep. We may be in trouble. trouble. Able to Phantom strike away, but Yao on his way in. Misery on the run. Already used the skewer to make it to the high ground. The crush actually does connect on the PA. Phantom strike not going to be off cooldown. And the first blood does come out in favor of Super on the sniper. Very nice as they dive deep into the Radiant jungle. DC's teamfight ultimates are starting to come online. Warlock's almost 6 now. Uh, Magnus is, as a matter of fact, 6. So he needs to be a little careful. A very nice smoke wrap around here from DC. We'll get them the kill on Super Sniper. Yep. Ursa not going to be able to get there though, in time. Maybe. But they might be able to go in onto Wii. The Warlock Golem comes down. It kind of breaks this up a little bit. But Weeha still in some trouble. He's on the run. Yao will connect with oh. the Crush. No, it's off the mark. Oh, the stolen, stolen golem. golem from the Rubik, though. This should secure some kind of a kill here. Telekinesis will lock down the PA. It's an RP on three plus the golem, but there's no follow-up, and of course it won't be enough to keep his good friend Weeha alive. Just flat out gone for DC. There's no way they're going to be able to hold this. Um, they will try to trade for top the best they can. They might actually be successful here with Resolution Wait, They're going to catch Magnus. Oh. They just dive past the tower and catch him off guard. They knew he didn't have RP, so limited ways to get away there. Pretty easy kill as they go back in under the tower. You have like a 15 second window before it expires, but he dumps it. Golem gets killed mid. Meanwhile, up top, resolution and end going at it. One more from the Ursa will find the kill. That's oh, now solo. he's ahead, but it's minute 11. Come on. Oh, Dude, my. One minute late. A spin it's from resolution. From yeah, no way to initiate there on the jug. Breaks the smoke and they'll stay safe. Maybe looking for a counter play of their own up top. They might find the Slardar. We. Throws some daggers, uses the Phantom Strike, but now Ooh. RP from Misery with Airball. and blinks away. Oh, they even oh. stole RP. That is pretty close to worst case scenario. Now they jump back in. Soxa getting low. He drops the rock, but it's not on point. Oh no, they're just going to get a free golem here. That's a little bit of money going the way of the Dire. And of course the thing that we probably haven't stated enough is the importance of Empower in this type of game. Like, if the game doesn't... Oh, Rezo will get jumped. Uh -oh. He actually wasn't fast enough in the spin. Nice RP, RP though. On two. Very nice. They've got the follow-up as Weeha jumps in, brings down the Rubik, brings down the Slardar. Beautifully done. DC get two quick picks. They do indeed lose that top tier one. They get a lot of damage into this tier two mid. They still have the Golem, and they could reinitiate Xiao 8. He pops too far forward. Juggernaut getting credit for that one with the Omni Slash. From two to three as DC strike back and claim this tier two tower mid. It's, it's a one and done kind of deal. You know, it's not enough to keep him safe from the PA jumping on him and all of the follow up after that, even now considering the four staff on Magnus. Oh, yeah, it's going to get misery here. Yep, he's he dead. catches him, follow up from end, and my god, it's a lot of damage. But now the Golem, the Fatal Bond's doing a lot of work here. Beautiful catch from the Juggernaut. Omni Slash finds a double kill on the Rubik and Ursa on the back line. It's a one for three. Well worth it to lose the Magnus there as they blow up. Ogre to boot, four down, three without buyback. This should be at least one lane of barracks here, Sin. If you look at the CS, and not just the, the net worth, where it's obviously apparent that Jugger and PA are now leading, but on the CS chart, oh my god, PA almost just blew up super there with good pike usage. Um, just look at the CS values, right? It's like, they have four heroes well, well above 100, Resso even above 200, and on the other side you have Slaughter, doesn't farm very well. Cave can be a popular item, but just realizing how important it is to have positioning tools against Ursa defensively, and also offensively to, you know, find the initiations on Sniper. Roche number three now in uh, underway by LFY, and we'll see the Warlock initiated on, but Misery jumps in, drops an RP, they'll go one for one as the Slaughter falls, but a big back wall from Moon Meander. Is it going to be enough to turn this fight for DC as they continue to pursue? End goes down and super in a world of trouble. Resolution just too damn fast. We'll chase him down. Nice four staff to the low ground, but there's a blink dagger. He finds him. The TP will not be successful. And that's it. LFY call it GG as they fail the third Roche. DC take game number one.
got kinetic field. That's sort of a lockdown. It, it's half of one, I suppose. And now alchemist for DC. A little mm. bit of late game security. Difficult hero to close matches out against. I think this is a really smart choice here. LFY. It'll be end on the Ursa, headed mid in his beautiful Alpine Ursa set. And it's super on the Razor up top. Trying to contest this uh, dual aggro lane. It's a 2v3. DC with the two as resolution gets pushed back. It'll be Xiao 8 that takes the Pugna in a support role. So our, our predictions for how this, these lanes will be set up a little bit different. It's now a three on three. Misery in the front lines. Who's going to find the first blood here? Misery getting low. He falls first. But they go one for one as Super goes down as well. Pudge for Razor. And then once they get hooked, things uh, might open up here for DC just a little bit. Oh, Alk mid. Oh my. Stole that was, a kill for the Ursa. That it's such a big kill. Not just because Alk was having a good start, but look at how much he's losing. Back up top though, Chow 8. He gets initiated on Pugna, only level 2, not able to do much. They will bring him down. Razor comes in, finishes off the kill on Rubik, and it's going to go the way of LFY. Pudge does get off the suicide, minimizing their losses here, but Resolution not in the clear yet. Thunder Strike still doing some good damage. One more from the Razor, not quite as he pops the field. stick. He'll uh, not survive. Very nice. Oh, yeah, Super. Actually, gonna die he's going to get turned though. on. Yeah, Soxa, he gets credit for that one. So in the end, it's not that bad for DC. Razor does die to the Radiant, but I think that still goes the way of LFY again to, and just start working the jungle. Misery, level 2 on Pudge, bumps into Yao. They'll just kind of say hi to each other and go their separate ways, it seems like. This is where it's important, in my opinion, for LFY to realize that this top lane's fine. Just leave the Razor alone. And they're doing exactly that. They're going to move away the Disruptor and the Pugna. Because what you want to do now is you want to pressure on Nice. They're going to get the dead. kill here on Misery. Good yeah. rotation from Xiao8. And now they're going to pressure into the Radiant jungle. Because this is how you contest the Alchemist at this point in the game. They made it very clear that Alk is jungling. They're going to run at him and shut down this game. They're going to get Socks as well. They'll here. find two kills. Yeah, both supports for DC get picked off. Very nice rotations. Boots of travel on razors. Are phase boots coming back? Um, I think it's really good in these kind of games where you were expecting to try and try. He's gonna get lifted top though. Very nice. He's all alone here from DC. He's that freebie. Yeah, nice kill. What you um, needed? Something I really enjoy when watching DC when they're playing their best is Down how bottom. quick they are at adapting to the situations in the game. And they just showed it again there. Yeah, maybe in trouble. Moon Meander now rotates in. It's a level 5 Timber Saw. They'll go for the kill on Chow 8, then he tries the TP out. Will not happen, and they pick up two around the map. Um, Misery has an option here. This is a Radiant Ward, so DDC doesn't know quite where he is. Could maybe blind hook him. Oh, he's so close! You'd think you'd be able to smell Pudge if you were really that close to him, but... <laughs> not quite. Uh, now Kinetic Misery's field. actually in trouble. Glimpse, a glimpse here. maybe oh, coming out. Glimpse. DDC can't get in range. Ah, uh, it's such a dinky little range there indeed. Moon Meander on the run, still does not have Timber Chain, gets glimpsed back, turns to about face the other way, drops the Chakram, Kinetic Field, and now he's going to start taking some damage. End will get in range, drops some right clicks, and Super gets credit for that kill. One for nil, LFY get another. Creating these distractions. Now they smoked again themselves. This Ursa oh. could be in trouble here. And here we go. Hook. Nice hook. Connects on the end. Remember, there's no dismember, but it doesn't matter. They've got an Omni Slash. That'll bring him down. Meanwhile, on the other side, they go in onto the Alchemist. He does have Chemical Rage as well as the Armlet, and he will live. So that this is not a bad gold graph to have against an Alchemist minute 14. The, the gold is even. That means you're doing pretty well. That's true. Um, Here we go, initiation right onto the Pudge. Sand King starts it off. Now the follow-up from Ursa as he comes in. They'll kill Misery first. Follow-up target looking for the Timber Saw, but he does chain glimpse. away. Glimpse him back. And they actually lock him down, though. Ursa Lane in the right clicks. Moon Meander doing some decent damage, but they've got it. Yao with the Burrow Strike catches him, and we'll finish him off. It's a two for nil. Nice jump from LFY, and they finally get the opening they were looking for. Razor actually doesn't mind either. Uh, both of them have built-in counters to the Alchemist's strength. So, oh, bottom lane. Oh, Here we go. A bit too slow there. Good blade it's a fury. Opportunity. Glimpse back now. Moon Meander. No, it's Misery that gets a glimpse. Stolen stun. Sand King gets a taste of his own medicine as he's locked down. Now he stuns the other way on too. They will bring down the Pudge first. Misery forced the Timber Chain out. They can't quite get the Sand King as he blinks away. Soxa, 50 HP as he makes it out. DDC can't get in range to finish him off as he burrow strikes into the trees. TP home. He will live. It's a one for two. The Alchemist died in the fray also. Yeah, this was oh, the actually, other side of the map. Oh wow! Exactly, was... there were two fights going on at once. I was keeping half an eye on it. So what happened was Pugna did get the top tower, 
And Alchemist got. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. Yeah, He's going to go Omni Slasher. Oh, Omni big damage. Gets DDC. Supers on the run, but a nice stun from Yao on two. Timber saw on resolution, getting low. Now Andy comes back in. Timber chain away. Resolution in big trouble. The Chakram slowing down the bear, but is it going to be enough? He does have his face boots. Defensive hook from Misery keeps his buddy alive. You get the kill on the Disruptor. Nice little pickup there for DC to round out that fight, but... Actually, a while ago by DC, did get more counter on the high ground. They're getting a lot of information right now about Illifoy's movements. And they're oh. going to take advantage oh. of it. No, they're not. Almost find Xiaoyi there. Xiaoyi saw the hook. This is big, big info for Illifoy as well. Now... The jig they still is up. Find the disruptor. Soxa goes in. DDC gets off the static storm. Kinetic field. Now the counter initiation. DC in a lot of trouble as they lose Rezo as well as Misery. Weha still on the high ground. He's going to try to make it away as Yao looking to chase him down. Does have the burrow strike. Blink dagger up. He connects. And stable concoction on the way. Does find a stun on two. Big damage now coming from the Alchemist. He kills the Ursa. He will still go down. Compliments of the plasma field. And now the glimpse on the Soxa. DC will get cleaned up, but. They do find the big kill before going down. It still hurts. That's a brutal fight. Fairly unlikely kill here. They have Glimpse, so if he sticks around, he's actually being semi-greedy here. He's actually dead, I think. Oh, Stuck no. around way too long. Yeah. Bro strikes in, takes a lot of damage. He actually almost dies in turn, but knows his limits. Now the Glimpse back, but Moon might still be able to make it away. Timber chain to a close tree. Perhaps not. That's a Super negative. With the plasma field, they'll lock him down and bring him down. Okay. I was about to say, kind of peculiar they didn't go for Roche, where Timbersaw is kind of a hard hero to lock down, but Moon Meander hands it to him. This, I mean, this could oh, be a lot disruptor worse. Disruptor is fishing here. He's also... If he finds Alf, this is big. Behind the tree line. He goes in onto Ursa. That'll be the end of the Aegis straight away. Hook falls short from Misery on the back line. DDC getting low. Because now the Aegis will bring him back up. Weeha pops the Mansa style. Gets outside of the kinetic field, but now disarmed. He crept. Maybe in some trouble, his teammate's still nearby. Yao follows up, but it's not nearly enough damage with the ultimate. Weha gets stunned, and Razor with the right clicks maybe can bring him down, but this Alk is damn tanky. They'll finish him off, but it's a big cost. Their whole team getting cleaned up. Hook from Misery does connect, and it's five down on the side of LFY just to kill that Alchemist. I can't believe Weha survived so long, Sin. Exactly right. Catches this rotation from LFY. And we'll see. They could still maybe take a fight. DC, who's going to get jumped? It's Moon Meander that starts it off. Forces the BKB from Super as they start to disengage. But Yao, he catches Wii. Channels up the stun. Drops it onto the Sand King. Super still with the BKB on. Omni Slash. The Decrap mitigates a lot of the damage. Keeps Yao alive. But it just delays the inevitable. Now Soxia in deep. Razor at about half HP. Drops the Plasma Field. It's enough to bring Soxia low for the kill. Resolution just trying to stay alive here. It's one of these long drawn out fights. We on the backside now ready to rejoin. Resolution TP's home. DDC will not be able to stand the heat. He gets Glimmer Caped and maybe it'll be just enough to keep him alive. Nice hook from Misery. Isolates the Ursa. DDC actually does live. A value Glimmer Cape there as he earn charges up and tries to TP home. Meanwhile on the other side, Timbersaw chasing him down deep into the tower. At the end it is a two for two advantage going the way of LFY. LFY I, I will think... just back out now. I actually think the the ideas that LFY have are right. I think going for that fight that they did in the Radiant Jungle was a good choice. They just didn't execute it well enough. But they, oh no, they're not Yao. scared. Oh, that that is he gets good. caught. Not the way to start this fight. Chow eight. He gets pulled up, and yeah, that'll be the end of the pugna. No buyback on him. In comes Wee. He has the stun. Gets it off. It ends up being a double for Misery. Ouch. You see in a very comfortable position. Roche. As respawned, from a focal point of this match, as we'll see, another rotation out, LFY, they catch one, Hook, not going to be there to save Miser or pardon me, Resolution. Now it's a 4v5, DC on the back foot, they could still potentially take a fight here, though, if they can catch this right. Super getting slowed down, Misery gets left behind, 4 stack down, will not be enough to save him, it's a 2 for nil. And a Roche, They It should be likely. Roche, yeah. It's really not bad, bad. mono regen, though. He but does still, he have... incasts it a lot of times. Yeah. And once he gets Guardians, that'll help a little bit. Mecha, another big mana cost item he's hanging on to. Here we go. Set up onto Razor. Will there actually be follow-up, though? Doesn't look like it. Super just turns and gets aggressive. Meanwhile, on the other side, now the real fight breaks out. BKB popped by the Ursa. Alchemist getting initiated on, but they'll bring down the Disruptor straight away. And Alk will not live. Misery tries to bring him to the low ground, but it won't happen. And now Pudge. Oh, nice get off a suicide. That's pretty nice. It's minor, but it is something. DC trading two for one as Moon Meander now tries to make it out. 
And this is going to be tough. He does not have a TP. He does have the gem, but long range stun from Yao. He's got Naganims. And they will find that kill. Omni Slash from Jug bouncing all around, but Resolution maybe biting off more than he could chew here. Tries to spin again, does not have a TP. Stocks in deep alongside. He'll get decrypt. And Jug will get stunned up by Yao and locked down. It is a full five man wipe. LFY trading just their position five disruptor for the entire team of Digital Chaos. My god. Um, to have hmm. those two. So yeah, they're going to yeah. go for the Pudge. I could definitely see it on Rubik, too. The, the only issue is the only very good steals are Burrow Strike and the... Uh, Here we go. Oh, they not find again. Weehaw. Nice hook, though. Expensive hook. Soxa will still die first, most likely. Omni Slash goes off with Chow 8, but he'll break up some of the damage. They'll still go one for one. Pugna dies. It's another one of these spread out fights. Weehaw going in on the DDC. We'll finish him off, but now on the bottom, they catch the Juggernaut. Resolution getting low. Yao pops the epicenter and does find the kill. Now back on the other side, it's Ursa versus Alchemist. BKB popped by the Ursa. He will at least scare back the Alk for now. Moon Meander stunned up again by Yao on the other side. It's a two for three and soon to be two for four. It looks like Moon getting low, but he actually does a lot of return damage. They can't quite bring him down. We looking to reinitiate the fight. They will rendezvous and then he backs out. Ooh. Timber saw he gets interrupted. Nice stun from Yao and that will secure it as end. Blinks forward and gets the bash. Oh wow, click on that dire ward in the middle of the jungle there. Let's see, trying for the wrap around here. Um, it's sneaky. Yeah, if... Oh, okay. Well, not anyway. anymore. <laughs> they, pull, they pull the plug. They TP home, but it's an they interesting to, idea. But they're not getting the chance. Hook. Oh, good Whoa. hook. It grabs DDC, but instant static storm comes out. Now the real fight begins. Lotus Orb put on top of Super Misery, getting low. DDC does survive through it. They go one for nil. Misery, the only one dead. Tier three tower also fell. Barracks take a little bit of chip damage. Super does have an Agonims now, so pushing gets a lot easier for LFY. Razor just needs to stand nearby. Yao with a long range stun connects on Rubik. Oh, Omni Slash Lotus. jumping around. It's Lotus. Oh my. That is so weird looking. Yao still gets pushed into a weird situation. And he might live. Glimmer Cape actually keeps him alive. We BKB on trying to chase out. They get the one kill on Pugna. Now and trying to get in the right clicks, but we looking pretty strong in the front lines here. Super trying to isolate the timber, but they're going blow for blow. Weeha's not gonna win this duel. He dies to the epicenter from Yao. Moon Meander gets the counter kill that way. It's still looking okay for DC. Three dead on the side of the dire. Now Super gets left behind. Resolution joining the party, getting off the right click. Soxa will pay with his life, but it keeps the razor around. They go three for four. No buybacks used. Barracks in the mid lane do stay standing. They lost one, but they hold the melee. That's, Just that's that short decent. cooldown and cast range, you know, allows Rubik to sit back in the fights, helps his positioning. I just feel like the cast range is the one oh. of the biggest luxury benefits. There we go. Oh, oh, they the got top eyes side. on Rubik. Initiation onto Stoxa. Defensive hook pulls him back. He'll be fine. No BKBs Super used. Super with the refresher. He's so strong right now. Stoxa again. All right, he pops the BKB for that. Maybe they get another one here. Misery also left behind. Yeah, that'll be an easy kill on the Pudge. Okay. I thought, you know, maybe just Rubik for a BKB that could be worth it, but... Um, he needs he 20 seconds on the second uh, Eye of the Storm here, but they're still definitely going to press their advantage. This this melee will There's... maybe not even fall before the supports respond. Oh my there. god, no backdoor glyph. protection. No glyph. Uh, ah, they should still get it. 15 seconds. This is definitely not. Okay. Oh, uh, it's a little bit close. The backdoor protection at least makes it interesting. Wait, oh, what? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Super stunned up by a concoction. They do give it to the timber saw. Uh, that's a good point, actually. That's something we haven't really kept much of an eye on the the status and the diffusals. Uh, eight on the jug and one on the Ursa can oh, no. start playing a role. Oh. They see misery. They find the stun to start it off, but they disengage. Razor goes up to the high ground, but the Omni Slash in the back line doing so much here. It brings down the Disruptor first. Juggernaut still going forward. Where is teammates, though? Razor gets the kill on Pudge in the back line. Another one of these fights where it's cores versus supports. Resolution on the run. Alchemist trying to focus on Super here, but he won't be able to keep his Juggernaut alive. This is a whiff team fight for DC. They've lost most of their cores. Rubik gets left behind. He'll be killed next. All of this for a Disruptor. It seemed like a really good Omni Slash at first, but it broke up this fight into all of these little 1v1s, and then DC just couldn't handle it. Both teams dropping the scans. Both teams missing. Okay. The about face now, here we go. Oh, Juggernaut, he gets caught first. Resolution pops the BKB, but he gets stunned. He'll be brought down first. 
He does have a buyback. It's not over yet. But now the rest of DC trying to retreat. Super makes it to the high ground. Follow-up stun from Yao. They're dropping like flies as now they lose Moon Meander. We pops the BKB. He's on the run. This will be a tough one. He TPs out. They've got no oh, way nice to interrupt TP. it. Clutch. Yep, Abyssal Blade still on cooldown there. Shows how pretty convincingly this game is in their favor. I mean, they're going yeah, for the win. They're going to go to your fourth. They'll force the buybacks here. Yeah. Uh, good hook. Oh, they might be able to find Chow 8. Force staff back. Another force staff back. Another Glimmer <laughs> Cave. He will not live. This could actually be okay for Radiant. Omni Slash bouncing all around. Timbersaw brings down the Pug as well as the Disruptor. They've already gotten the Sand King. And now it's a fourth one. Ursa falls. A godlike streak goes the way of Moon Meander. That's with buyback gold, though. Actually, keep the status quo where LFY as the leading team are kind of cornered in their base. And that means that one misstep can lead to the end of the game, and it looks like it could be happening right now. They're going on the pug in the top for now. Yeah, Chow 8 maybe nice in force. trouble, but four stabs coming out. Now the stun on the pugs. Remember, he's got the cheese. He's also holding on to the gem. Now, Super taking a lot of damage as Resolution jumps in. The Omni slash to reset. Yao, the first casualty of this fight. Instant buyback on him. Resolution maybe in too deep, but Weeha still with a lot of HP. LFY just taking more damage than they can handle in this moon. He gets stunned up. That'll be the end of the Aegis. DC could still try and reinitiate here, and now they do. They jump in. Yao, remember, he's fresh off a buyback. It's a dieback. Zhao Wei can't heal him in time. Super low on HP. Hook not on the money. Does catch the illusion instead. Now the glyph. It's a 4v5. Sand King cannot buy back for 100 seconds. Come back, rather. Now the barracks under siege. Zhao Wei. Trying to slowly whittle down Weeha, but at this point the life drain just tickles. That's one lane of barracks. Does DC stay for more? Now as both sides are still reasonably healthy, just trying to buy time for the Sand King. He's up in about 20. LFY hanging on pretty well. Remember, still no buyback on the Ursa. He has to play so conservative here. Positioning from DC. They're keeping this Alchemist in the front line, just trying to spam out the hook. Misery, though, now having mana issues. Wants to save the cheese for HP regen. It looks like they will just back out with the Sand King respawn looming. Oh, super LFY coming out of the base though. Super, why did he go out so far? Force Staff does not make it to the high ground. The Omni Slash shuts him down. Pugna and Razor both fall. They do both have buybacks, but two more kills getting DC one step closer to a victory. Oh, oh stun on two. Both buybacks used. Weeha pops the BKB. They turn the other way. The Epicenter does next to nothing. Misery getting low, but he survives. Compliments the Glimmer Cape. He will make it out. Now Ursa getting low. Four staff, double four staff. They get the counter kill on Moon Meander. Super with the BKB on. Comes far out of the base. They are running low on buybacks. LFY cannot die here or this game could end. But now they're doing the big damage. They're going to turn it and kill the Alchemist. They still have a chance. Someone's winning this game, Andrew. Timber Saw does not have buyback here. Soxa does not make it out. Oh, now buyback. The Alk now. Ready to be used by DC. Yeah, he's already bought back. Decider here. He pops it and they get racks because yeah, he's dude. killing it with Eye of the Storm. It's a buff. That's Anything that you can buff and then steal something else and still use it, I think, is not so bad on Rubik. There's certainly worse things to steal. But we'll see. Glyph available here for the Dire. Slow and steady. Resolution taking a fair bit of damage. Super pops the BKB and actually charges out of the base. That very is very aggressive not play. They need to be very careful Hook not to falls get short, right now. but. Yeah, if they just jump on this Razor, this could be bad. Hook on the Yao. Oh, no. They catch the Sand King. Now stun the other way. Razor comes in, pops the Refresher. He's going to pop that second ult soon. I think BKB starting to stack up. Misery will get finished off, but now and pops the BKB. He's getting low at the center, bringing Wee ever no so buyback. low. We they kill the Alchemist. They also killed the Sand King, though, and now Super. He's getting pretty low. This uh, Pugna up on the high ground, he gets stunned, he can't keep life draining, but he does, he breaks down Soxa! Xiao Eight, just the king of the mountain right now, as he does stay alive, but Super does finally fall. They knock down Xiao Eight. Resolution blinks forward, buyback now from the Rubik. Oh, this life drain, it's really starting to hurt at this stage. He's up on the high ground again, DDC almost dies, Moon Meander can't find him, he doesn't have the detection, they bring down the Pudge, the Juggernaut getting low, but Moon Meander finds the kill on the Pugna. It is a bloodbath to the extreme, but I think LFY are the ones in a lot of trouble. The buybacks come from DC, they use all three of them. An ice comes back from the Disruptor, but they are out of resources to hold the barracks, and I think DC might have just done it here, Sin. They're re-engaging, we'll go for the Rax. The question is if they can get the third lane. This is still really expensive for them, actually. They've committed a lot. It does look like they will be successful in getting Megas here. Healing Ward is destroyed. Yeah, still 70 seconds before Razor seconds or Sand King. He's the up. big one. And can actually win this fight if they have the Sand King stuns. 
Rude Meander just trying to box them out. They get the barracks. Now on the front line, Misery gets jumped on by the Ursa. They'll find the kill there, but I think it's too little too late. The Megas do go down. Razor gets his buyback. This he game uses is not it. over at all yet. They killed the Ursa. Actually. Now he has to buy back. Moon Meander on his way out. Oh, whoa, what happened? Oh, but a glimpse? <laughs> I don't know. That was weird. He pops his BKB, goes for the oh, TP. It's going to be close, but he gets bashed. Okay. So LFY, as you said, it's Megas, but they kind of hold on. They have to use a few buybacks themselves, Razor and Ursa. There is a Roche if they want it. They know that Pudge is dead for a minute, but the other heroes oh, will be out. The question oh. is, how well did they keep track? That's a Rapier. Rapier for Ursa. Just like any sort of good start like that, where they get ahead in the fight, makes a big difference. And their own Sand King is 300 gold from buyback. If they get, like, a tier 4 and 1 kill or something like that, Yao could find himself a second life here. Here we go. We in the front lines. He needs to be careful. He does have the buyback, but you don't want to burn it straight away. He gets off the BKB, but he's just taking too much damage. He goes down. Resolution now pops his BKB, joins the fray as Moon Meander charges forward. BKB on as well. Buyback now from the Alchemist. They do lose the tier 4 tower. Moon Meander about to lose his BKB, but the double Chakram's doing a fair bit of damage here as Weeha finds a stun on one. Static Storm Kinetic Field. Can they get in to close the gap? Yao pops the epicenter. Weeha could die back here. He's getting low, but he does does get hooked. Maybe they just focus on the throne. Still a glyph. This is getting scary for LFY. BKB popped by Super. They're starting to focus the throne, but DC seem to have the reinforcements to handle this. They're trading kills now, but they lose Ursa. They lose Razor. Moon Meander just barely goes down, but the creeps, they kill the throne back at the Dire, and DC managed to do it. What a ridiculous finish. 71 minutes in. Digital Chaos do find the win.